football and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurt. And he takes this one in. Much daylight after that as he's brought down. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. But we just saw shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup if someone's trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. He's back to throw. His pass caught at the four. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. A five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow. Wow. So many practices we watched over time where the offense works on scoring late in the game and finding a way to win, as we just saw there. Just saw it right there. Now can they preserve that advantage that they just got? Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it. And this is indeed up to a three-point lead. send the kicking team out there and they will send this one away on the return it's Kenyon Barner Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. So you're right there, but obviously the clock is not your friend. How do you handle this situation? You're thinking two plays. One, to get yourself in position for the second one. Whether you're able to get into field goal range or you have to... Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. is Ertz with it right side that one good for 10 yards and that'll make it second and a foot or so now hold everything here we're going to get a timeout by the offense and as the two teams talk it On their respective sidelines, we take a break. One final try now for Wentz. He's got time. Now a desperation. That's caught inside the 20. And he takes this thing down deep into Chicago territory. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So for Chicago, it's a win here in their home opener as they move to 2-0. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Dallas Cowboys. Meanwhile, for the Eagles, they'll fall to 1-1. One and, one, and they'll look to get back on the beam next week as they host the Pittsburgh Steelers. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The Bears get the win at home as we say so long from Soldier Field.